Good afternoon, everybody. Um, just a reminder, you can see me at www.whitehillsactingstudios.com. And here we are with Dave. Such a pleasure to be here again, Dave. Thank you. Uh, Rochelle, I have to say, uh, this is your uh, first uh, podcast. Yes, it is. And it doesn't seem to be that it's your first podcast because you are you are working or you're saying each line and each word like a professional. I'm very comfortable. I think I trained you right. Yes, you did. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I forgot to tell you that. Yes, you did. It's such a pleasure to be um, working alongside with you. Um, no, it's I nice. Uh, some people, honestly, because I started radio. I was doing radio as soon as I came to Canada in 1970. And I got a job at the radio station and then progressed to uh, television and finally in, in the movies. Yeah. And in my, in my travels with these uh, media, I've seen people freezing, even mm -hmm. up, to, up to date. Uh, I will hire some actors and they know their lines, but they become so camera aware, yeah. so camera fright. As yes. soon as they say lights, camera, and action, action. as soon as they hear with action, they're freaking out. And we are saying, come on, come on, say, the, say <laughs> yeah. the first word. And they are, they're all frozen. Yeah. So, uh, but you did well. You are doing well. And as you, as we, you. as we go by through these uh, episodes ev every week, mm -hmm. trust me, you will be, you'll be shining like a star. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I'm and, learning uh, a lot. So people, first of all, I have to thank you for sticking around mm -hmm. because honestly, we did all this research just for you. We did. And uh, yes. yeah, we are we are doing this free of cost. It's uh, we are not charging you anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a word, uh, Rochelle, is called karma. Yes. Okay. You give, and you get back That's triple right. fold. That's okay? right. Mm -hmm. So out in the universe, we are throwing out these good feelings, and we are giving our best knowledge that we have researched for the last week or so mm -hmm. and then we we bring it here for you but you can certainly take your acting lessons at www.whitehillsactingstudios.com you will go there and you can choose whatever level you are at if you're a brand new actor mm -hmm. just choose the lessons that are meant for the brand new actors if you have done a couple of films then you can go to the medium lessons and if you have done a few films then you can go to advance but we have every kind of lessons sitting there waiting for you mm -hmm. now let me tell you Rochelle if you go to any big school like Vancouver Film School that's right you will be paying anywhere from 25 to 30 thousand for the course I heard okay. I did but when you go to whitehillactingstudios.com each lesson is less than uh, five, five to eight dollars an hour. Wow! So everyone That's can afford it, and they, you can become an actor. You don't have to go out of the rain and and mm -hmm. drive your car down, and then you travel through the big traffic and so on. Mm -hmm. This is at home. You can you'll be sitting at home. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to our our topic. What we were saying. So. What will be your next line that you want to tell people what to watch out for? I think it's important, and I, I did some research on this, about mm -hmm. jealousy on the set. Wow. Right? I, I think in your acting career, you, you, yes. you witnessed this, right, That's Dave? That's right, yes. Um, every day in our lives, I mean, there's jealousy. It exists, right? Mm -hmm. Um, when it exists in the um, in the studios, it's it's a different thing. Right. 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 Uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Rochelle. What happens? Like, say for example, if I come to the set mm -hmm. and I'm given a fancy chair and I'm given a fancy treatment and That's all right. that, and you are sitting there in other uh, among other people, mm -hmm. and you are saying, "Why can't Why can't I have all that?" Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you are forgetting that Dave has spent so many years to get there. Right. You have to earn respect. Mm -hmm. You have to be a professional. 
you have when you become recognized that means people have seen your work they have yes. accepted you they have yes. started respecting you but jealousy is just one of your weaknesses yes okay so instead of wasting your energy on being jealous i would say put that energy in positive mode mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. try to become more professional right try to study more try to become at the same level where dave is yes so that's what i would do and another point that i have to mention uh rochelle is people come to the set <laughs> and you know how the cows or the buffaloes when they chew their stuff yeah they are going i knew you, know. you were going to say that <laughs> and i see people with chewing gums now yeah. i know in the 60s or 70s it was cool mm-hmm, to chew mm-hmm, gum mm-hmm. and every time you are done you bring it out and you stick it under the table yes and some poor soul puts his hand underneath just to move the table ahead right. and there he is you know getting stuck with your oh, used no. gum no. or they used to stick it under the seat yeah people this is 2015 and so on it will be 2016 it's not cool it's not mm-hmm. uh, they consider it bad manners when you come to the set mm-hmm. with your jaws all going and you're blowing these bubbles and they are making noise it's not cool it's it not. used to be good for uh, teenagers or something but now you are a professional you are an actor so behave like an actor when you're on the set first of all If you see other actors or see other ladies mm-hmm. don't get jealous man it has taken hard work for them yes. to be at the level where they are would you believe any of these actors first of all they have spent at least 3 years going to the schools going to the colleges mm-hmm. taking lessons and these lessons are very expensive okay so they have invested a lot of money and a lot of energy a lot of time to be where they are so it doesn't matter who they are they have done their homework and now it's your time to be at that level mm-hmm. so your point about not being uh, don't be jealous about actors that's a very good point yes. what would you say next i think that it's 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 one of the most important aspects i mean The first time we met you asked me the question on my interview. Yes. And um this is a very good question and I was I knew exactly what to say. You asked me, "What's your what what would you want in this in, in this whole acting career? Do you want to be the forefront of the f- camera or do you want to be an extra?" That's right. And I told you that whatever it is, both, right? And yes. I think by saying that, I mean that defines that I'm willing to take any start in a role and it shows that you know i i don't expect to be the head mm-hmm. you know it takes yeah, years yeah. of experience Absolutely. right so yeah. i think when we're coming into this when you're coming into an acting career you got to come in humbly you got to come in humbly speaking and in you can't yeah, immediately in any field right in any yes. field whether you are working as a nurse or working as a driver working mm-hmm. as a waitress you can't come on too strong you absolutely. know absolutely i think the strong um persona mm-hmm, kind mm-hmm. of intimidate it intimidates a lot of people you got to be workable you got to come in humbly humbly speaking and that shows as a good role model right absolutely. we lack that kind of thing yeah. in 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 actor and mm-hmm. in being an actress in hollywood we lack the humility i think um we're so intertwined with social media yeah. and all the likes we get everyone's a star you were telling Absolutely. me you know yes. Rachel everyone's a star on the media right? right yeah so um you're coming into an acting studio mm-hmm. and you you think you're all that already yes. but are you really all that are you really those likes <laughs> you can buy likes these days right very good very right? good point uh so you uh it seems you have uh to me uh you are reflecting as a very mm-hmm. wise person you have had life experience thank you and i'm going to blush right now <laughs> <laughs> because that's thank you that is very very good what rochelle is saying mm-hmm. this is coming from a wise a wise person yeah. and yes when you step into this film world and i 
and I did ask her and I said Rochelle would you want to be in front of the camera or behind the camera what what do you want to be at in in five years she says people should remember me as a good person and then as a good actor and I said that's a that's a very good answer mm -hmm. and so looking at her nature I invited her and I said uh, I did I did put an ad on on one of the papers and Craigslist asking for a co-host and I had several inquiries uh, mm -hmm. there were several other people but when I spoke to Rochelle and I said no this this person will be the right person that is that is not uh, into into high high nose people she's showing attitude or as she was just the right person for the show and you will watch her from from one episode to the next 40th episode mm -hmm. that uh, she will be talking some very sensible things so the other thing uh, Rochelle I have observed in my film uh, life is when you get a role yes. and you are invited onto the set as an actor mm -hmm. then immediately you a night before you call all your friends <laughs> all your girlfriends or the boyfriends and the family and you say guess what I'll be at the set tomorrow doing this movie yeah. would you like to uh, come and see the uh, see the shoot it's uh, it's good that you mentioned that to your friends and family but just imagine if every person we have about 50 people to 100 people on the set and I couldn't believe when you told me the story I was <laughs> like really Dave that's <laughs> right they do that when everyone starts you bringing need to give them an invite <laughs> when everyone starts bringing their family first of all we order food for if we have 70 people we we offer we order uh, 80 80 people food because some will eat more than some but if you start bringing your entourage with you <laughs> and, <Entourage. you're laughs> and you haven't even started a name, movie yeah. but uh, no my advice is not to bring your friends or your family to the set because you have to take care of yourself and just imagine if you have little ones with you and you, they are crying on the set and they are running around first of all oh kids are not allowed on the set in any ways because you will see these big voltage wires that mm -hmm. are hot liability. that are very high current yeah. uh, liabilities mm -hmm. and when somebody falls the whole uh, stage or the whole crew be becomes a standstill yes. everything is put on hold and as I mentioned that each hour production cost is 20 or 10 thousand yes you were telling me and uh, just imagine if we have to wait for you so that you can take your little friend uh, away from the set or they want the the better diaper and now you have to this would be a no no on mm -hmm. because no matter what you do uh, Rochelle you have to be very 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 professional yeah and then they will they will respect you as a good artist and actor and you will get some kudo points uh, through my company to your agent whoever yes, sent you right. I will thank her and I will say thank you for giving me Rochelle because she was very nice on the set and she yes. was being very very professional yes so uh, I'm going to uh, give you uh, 30 seconds mm -hmm. to uh, close this uh, program what would you like to tell your audience well I would just be um, you know when you're signing up um, to a production company I would I would come in and be humble I I really am big on humility in life and 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 coming on to you're this on the social media right but that's just the social media who are you as a person you know you got to if you're sporting on Instagram or Facebook the, and and th you have the whole world following you why are they following you are you like that on and off social media mm -hmm. are you conducting yourself in the public the same way because the two pictures paints one person right and so I mean I, I came to you as a person right and looking at my social media you would expect okay Rachel 
I'm going to meet this girl and she's got to be exactly what she is on her resume mm -hmm. and what they've researched about you on social media. And then when you come and do an interview, yes, right, you have to be some sort of more than an Instagram Facebook star. You know what I mean? Yes. Now, I'm going to I'm going to stop you here, but do we will do the next episode on making a resume okay and not lying and on it and right. not elaborating <laughs> yeah, and not on elaborating. it what you are not okay? that's right we will talk about that now ladies and gentlemen we are going to wrap this up and before i go once again all the friends and family and and the relatives of Rochelle, if you want to see her on on uh, on on the computer and and on our website which is www.whitehillsactingstudios.com she can be seen there sitting with me just just doing her job and next week we'll be back again at the same time on the same channel with a brand new topic till then thank you for your time thank you for listening to us god bless and you guys have a wonderful day bye good